Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Cool, cool. Um, so I'm Matt, I'm CNE, and we've been hacking on getting Project Clear also running over Arena. Um, doesn't quite work. Um, so one of the meetings, uh, so Project Clearwater is an open source IMS core. Um, it's built to be cloud native, so um, kind of built on the same kind of design principles as a lot of uh, web scale uh, applications. Um, and if you ever want to play with it, uh, there are all in one VM images. Um, it's really cool. I work on this. We've been trying to get that running over Arena, which is the recursive internet work architecture. Um, and that's basically going to be a better replacement for. Um, Pretty much the whole stack below, um, you know, TCP and below. Um, so it places TCP, it places IP, um, and um, so you have to not have TCP and IP running below it. Apart from that, you can actually tunnel it over UDP, and that's what we've been trying to do. And then we try to run kills on top of it. Um, and there's various different implementations. We were using R light. Um, this is the, the network. This is the architecture diagram for <coughs> Clearwater. Quite complicated, um, but the key thing is. But we've tried to make these links, these HTTP links, um, run over Reno rather than over TCP. Same question as the end of this. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, the way this actually works in terms of Kilter's implementation, um, we use curl, which is a standard C, um, C library for HTTP um, requests on the Scrum <coughs> Bono side, and we use a thing called live event HTTP. Um, on the, um, the Dime side, um, and basically we try to migrate both of those so that rather than using um, standard TCP, we use, use Reno instead. Uh, and in fact, that's what we've ended up trying to do. The code is the same, um, but we've even covered that. So. Um, in terms of deployment, um, we've been running on EC2. Um, we've got um, four nodes of Bono, Sprout, Dime, and Bell, and those we saw on the previous slide. Um, because we're running on EC2, um, we are running over the top of IP, fundamentally EC2's, Amazon's thing isn't, isn't really enabled yet. Um, so you have to run over IP. And so what we're actually um, trying to do is tunnel this over UDP, which is, which when we started this project, we didn't realize was not very stable, and the, the Reno developers knew this. Um, uh, they actually pointed us to use Ethernet um, in the docs, but we didn't, we didn't notice that bit. Um, so that's why we may have got a little bit, a little bit worse than should have. Um, and um, yeah, so demo, unfortunately not. Um, we've got to the stage where um, we've written the code on both sides, and we've seen it trying to use the Reno APIs, but actually the, the, the UDP connection that I mentioned uh, just isn't stable. Um, so uh, Marco, who's the guy from Arctifier, is, is currently trying to troubleshoot that. Um, we're reasonably confident it's nothing to do with that code. <laughs> I think the key is to... <laughs> that doesn't mean there are bugs in that code. Um, so next steps, um, get it working for the main one. Um, at the moment, we say we're only doing HTTP. Um, that was because it was uh, kind of the, the most obvious one to do. Um, uh, in the future, we just do SIP, which is the main protocol that IMS Core speaks, um, because we do that over Arena. Um, and then there are various other protocols that we use internally um, that, would be, that would be good to do as well. One of the challenges with some of the protocols, so both SIP and Diamond stuff from this, is that obviously if you're using these protocols to talk to other things, they've got to talk Arena as well. Um, so there's, um, there's a challenge there. And then the other thing to do is actually to assess how good Reno is. Um, it's supposed to be better than TCP IP, um, but obviously a lot of that is about, about proving it out in, in real world applications. And the other thing is actually, did we do the right thing at all? Um, so we changed the code in um, this curl library, we changed the code in this live event HTTP library. It would be great if actually you didn't have to adapt every single library your application uses to do this. Um, so I've got a couple of slides. This, I'm afraid, is Almost just slide wet, but it was, oh, this is, I went running this morning. I thought this is the way we should have done it. Um, so, the way that application sets work at the moment is you have your application on the left, it talks um, BSD sockets, which is like the standard networking API, um, to libc, and then that does um, system calls into the kernel. And so, you have like a whole load of different calls get host by name to do DNS resolution, you have um, sockets and connect, and so on to actually um, manage TCP connections. Whereas, if you're using Librina, um, so you use the Reno code, then you make a Reno open call rather than a socket call, and you use um, register and flow alloc in order to, to manage your connections. It'd be really nice if we could build this, um, which is basically that your code on the left talks um, the standard BSD sockets calls, um, and we have this Reno interposer library, which um, I'd like to write, uh, which um, gets its configuration from files or from environment variables. 
and determines whether a given connection, given a library or whatever, should be using standard TCP or should be using RENA. If it should be using RENA, it diverts it via the RENA um, API. If it's using, if it should be using um, standard TCP, then it just talks directly to the C, um, and then it all magically works. Um, the, um, there's a little bit of fun here because obviously this code still is thinking in terms of IP addresses, so you have to kind of pretend that you were doing IP connections even though you weren't. Um, so it's a bit of a halfway house, but it would mean that you could get a lot of applications running over RENA very quickly. Uh, and I did do a prototype, um, and um, this is running the code, this is running a standard tool called Netcap, um, and I've, um, I've provided various details about my reader configuration um, on the environment, on the environment variables, and there's this magic command, or magic environment variable called LD preload, and what LD preload does is it basically tells your, um, tells uh, the operating system that rather than loading libc like it would normally, you first of all load this magic library that can, can do the mapping. Uh, and so I, I'm calling the socket call, and that actually maps through to a reader call. And I'm calling the connect call, and that maps through to a reader call, which fails because unfortunately that makes it up. But yeah, that was the idea. And um, all that stuff is up on the internet, um, on my GitHub. Um, so Sprout hosted and Ralph were the, um, the Clearwater components. Reader Interposer is my attempted um, Interposer library, which hasn't been tested very hard because of the, the, the issues we've been having. Uh, and yeah, thanks to Alan for organizing and Miguel and Marco for, for uh, the support. Thanks, Alan. Thank you so much. Thank you.